<sighs> All right, thank you so much. Of course, we are ready to deliver some food here with Go Go Hamster Chef, the absolute classic that everyone has totally heard of. It's a really cute game, definitely not scary whatsoever, right? Yeah, oh. No, not at all. Uh, my name is Char Bunny. I'll be your runner for today, and let's let's do some introductions on who you are and who you'll be playing for today's performance. Hi, I'm Critique Quartz, and I'll be playing Hop Hop. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lizzie, and I will be playing Hopper. Hello, I'm NBZ, and I will be playing Benjamin. Awesome. Thank you so much all for being here. And with that, I think we're ready to get started. So crowd, can you help me count me in from five, four, four. three, two, one. Oh, I hit my microphone. Go! <laughs> Sorry, tech team. All right. So we're going to start off by picking up food off of the floor, which is obviously where food should be stored. Good job there. And we're going to put it in our cheeks, which is obviously how you carry things if you're a hamster. We now are going to make ourselves dinner. We're going to make a salad. So we have to start off by chopping a carrot. We'll do that by wiggling up and down. Do, 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 do. Now we need to chop up lettuces as well. Those are the only two ingredients that you need for a salad, so that's great. Um, in order to make our salad, what appliance should we use, everyone? Just shout out your favorite kitchen appliance. <laughs> Perfect. We're using a stove to make our salad. That's obviously what everyone just said out there in the audience. Perfect. We have a salad. We're ready to eat dinner. This is going to be delicious. Ring, ring. It's me, Hopper, from down the road. I was just scooting by on my way home and smelled something good cooking in there. Actually, my grandpa... Hop Pop is feeling a bit under the weather. Oh, that salad would restore his fighting Irish spirit. Can I take it off your hands for you? I can tell by your stunned silence that answer is yes, of course. Well, I'll be waiting in the front of my house for you. Bye. <laughs> All right, don't feel like I got an option there, but that's okay. We want to be neighborly, so let's go ahead and take this salad on over to Hop Pop and Hopper's house. So we did a little grocery shopping there, picked up a lettuce for another day. We're going to do a little bit more with the carrot over here on the right. Just going to hop off, go grab this carrot. Again, we're storing all the food in our mouths, in our cheek pouches, so it's very sanitary. That's The hamster's cheek pouches are naturally sanitary for anyone who didn't know that fun fact about animals. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off this salad. Hopefully it's, it's appreciated. You brought it. Hop Pop would love this. Having a friend like you in the village sure is swell. Oh, thank you so much. You know, in fact, that one successful food delivery is enough for me to stake my entire career on making a food delivery enterprise. And I'm not even going to bother eating that salad because I'm now filled with entrepreneurial spirit, which is exactly what the hamster says as we go back to bed. So we picked up one more item there that we'll use in a future meal. But for now, that was a successful day. We did literally one thing and now it's time to go back to bed, which is, I wish that was my life. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. All right, go ahead, Pato. Let's see if we get any orders. Come on, come on. Yes, order. Okay, we got a simple salad for Benjamin. We know how to make those. Our hamster thinks we don't have ingredients, but ha, we're speedrunners. We've got ingredients for days. So we're going to go ahead and do the same set of things in order to cook this up. Once again, stove salad is best salad. So Benjamin, we haven't seen yet. Benjamin's on the other end of the village, so we'll go ahead and hop on our scooter to get there. Now our scooter is a little tiny way for us to move faster. It only moves faster on the road, so we do want to keep on the road here as we go by. Going to pick up another lettuce, a little more grocery shopping, and then I'm going to pick up one of these two carrots, which is kind of the silliest time save in this game because it's right there. But we get a freebie carrot later, so we're just going to leave that one forever and ever. You're free to wave at it every single time we go by. We're never touching it. All right, our first delivery of our new business. This is super critical. How's it going to go? Yes, I suppose it's close enough to what I ordered. Oh. Take care now. Well, not the, the auspicious start I'd hoped for, um, but that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day, and we successfully delivered one food. Once again, we did one thing for the day, so we're going back to bed. That was it. Thank you. Thank you. We're off to a good start. How many of you in the audience would order a simple salad from this hamster? way more than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that that many of you are willing to eat food that came out of a hamster's cheek pouches. <laughs> All right, two orders today. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to get a little more complex. So I've got to chop up three whole ingredients. So we got lettuce, then we have potato, and then we have carrot. And now we get to make fries. We're making fries for the first time. This is a left and right motion. Oh, missed a little bit there. And now we get to make our stove salad, just our classic. This is, I think, sadly, our final stove salad of the game, which is pretty tragic. So F in the chat for stove salad. Uh, we're going to go deliver. We have two deliveries to do. We're going to go to Benjamin first because we're going to have some extra dialogue with Hopper. So let's go ahead and make sure we take care of this in order. So we tried to make... Our food good yesterday. It wasn't quite the best, you know, according to, to Benjamin over here. So let's go ahead and try and see if we got a better review today. Quality has fallen off a bit, hasn't it? I suppose it'll do. Really? <laughs> we tried so hard on that stove salad. We stirred it for like five whole seconds. 
I don't understand what we're doing wrong here, but that's okay. That's only one customer. Let's go ahead and deliver to Hopper and see if Hopper has maybe something more positive to say about these french fries that we so carefully uh, spent, again, three seconds deep frying. So I'm gonna make sure those are selected. Head on over. Note that we don't have to stand next to the character to have dialogue, by the way. So here we go, fries. Woohoo, you brought fries. I didn't know you could make it, if I'm being honest. You're pretty amazing. You know what? We'll take it. That's our best compliment so far. Let's let's talk. We need to find onions, and Hopper's the only one who knows how to get them. So, Hopper, how do we get onions? Oh, onions? Yeah, I know where you can find those. You gotta leave the village. And there okay. just happens to be a hole in the wall behind my house. It's usually guarded, but even a guard needs to sleep sometimes. Okay. Hop Pop told me that he used to hang out there when he was younger. Before? Anyways, you'll definitely find onions back there. Be, but be careful, Hop Pop seems afraid of the area. All right, that's fine. Well, we know where we're going, so that's good. This is our freebie time, by the way. You can hear the sunset music playing, letting us know night's coming, but this is on a timer. So that's where I could pick up a potato and two carrots, top left, which is all of the ingredients I'll need from the village area for the rest of the game. Now we stand and stare at this bear. We do not talk to the bear. The bear is not very nice. We just stand menacingly and wait for the bear to disappear at nightfall, which is coming up soon. This is, however, the trickiest part of this game. I do need to focus a little bit in this next section because it's about to be dark and ominous and we are being hunted down by something that definitely does not want us in this forest. Um, feel free to guess what that is in the chat. I'll give you imaginary points if you get it right. Okay, nighttime should be soon. Lights coming on, there we go, okay. So this forest is very weird. It's all trees and roots and everything, and it's a little bit tricky to make sure you're going the right way because everything kind of looks the same. So I'm following a specific route. I'm looking for specific things like these two tree stumps in a row, and that's how I'm gonna get these onions that I need. There are four onions that we need to grab in the forest before we death warp back out. So this is sort of my track for this next onion, should be just over here. I need to turn left and hopefully find some trees. You can hear some ominous music, and it's on to us, which is gonna make this fun. Uh, I need to start dodging. So we're going to go in circles for a second. There's our enemy. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's okay, because it should not be in this game for some reason, but it is. Uh, that's Missing No. Missing No is what's hunting us down. Here's our final enemy. We're going to death warp. There we go. We're done. But shout out to Missing No, who is what's hunting us down in the forest in Go Go Hamster Chef, the video game. <laughs> we got our four onions, and conveniently, this is actually what we wanted to do that was pretty optimal. We got four onions, and the game brings us back to the forest entrance, and we immediately get warped out. So that's actually really solid, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but at this point, we're pretty creeped out by what just happened. Uh, JPEG, can you give us anything in reassurance over there? Yeah, absolutely. I have $50 from Netsky, who says, go, go, Char Bunny chef incredible voice acting from the couch ten dollars from go go hamster dolls that says anything for pop pop thank you fifty dollars from cheesy pie who says got up early just to watch this run good luck char and shout out to this couch thank you so much you can keep going for a little bit any incentive updates you want to give us while we're here yeah absolutely we do have that upgrade to all stages run of super mario brothers the lost levels we have 13,000 raised towards that so less than 37 to go and this will change the category of the super mario brothers lost levels run to complete every stage in the game and y'all remember that means more gdq we definitely need to see that please make sure you select that incentive while donating we will kind of want to see as much mario as possible i run mario as one of my other games mario speed running is so cool Cool. Uh, but we have a new recipe now. This isn't salad. So, Bungeman, what's your thoughts on carrot stew? This is mine now. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> But okay, that's weird. Um, we're gonna head back over though. What we just got is a new recipe. So you can see the bottom right corner where our phone is and it's for stir fry. Stir fry requires mushrooms, which we don't have any of. And so we're gonna go back to resident expert Hopper who seems to know where everything is. And we'll just casually ask where some mushrooms are. So heading over here, making sure I park my scooter nice and neat at the top. There we go, ta-da, bye scooter. All right, let's go talk to Hopper and see what's up. Hopper? <gasps> He's gone, my Hop Pop. I told him where you found the onions oh, no. and he got so mad. I've never seen him so mad. Next thing I know, he rushed off back there. I hate to ask, but will you go look for him? He might be near the water. Please bring him back. Yeah, absolutely. Oh gosh, Hop Hop, I hope you're okay. I'm sorry, because you have the best lines in the game. I, I hope we get to see them. Okay, um, quick incentive update though. If you'd like a quick donation, we wait for nightfall and hopefully go find Hop Hop. Yeah, absolutely. I have $10 from Apple Juice Cider saying, greetings from the audience, loving this hamster DoorDash simulator. We got up early just to see this cute game and couldn't be happier. And then I have $5 from Jazz who says, go, go hamster chef is making me miss my bun buns at home. Butters and waffles, I hope you're behaving. 
Shout outs to Butters and Waffles. My bunnies are Minnie and Sunflower. Feel free to donate if you have pet bunnies. I would love to hear about Yeah, please it. tell us their names. Uh, so we're back in the scary forest, and you can already hear, depending on if you're wearing headphones and how loud the game audio is for you, you may be able to hear that we're already kind of being chased down by Missing No. What we're doing is we're taking a route that hopefully avoids a collision course with Missing No, because we really don't want aggro on that right now. So what we do is we go straight to the water, and then we turn left. What I'm doing is I'm listening for how close Missing No is, and also watching the screen. If you see that sort of chromatic aberration, those colors showing up, that is also an indication that Missing No is closer. I think we're around it. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so now we just need to find Hop Hop, who should be back here near the water. Everything should be fine, right? So let's we'll keep going. There's a tree and... <gasps> oh no! Hop Hop! I... I'm so sorry. I... I... I'm sorry. I thought you would have lines. I apologize. Well, there's mushrooms on the dead body, so we're just gonna pick those up and move on with our life, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> That's what we came here for. I'm sorry, Hop Pop. We'll catch you another time. Uh, we're going to step on the stick and wait for Missing No to come get us. We can get another donation in here while we're waiting for that because Missing No is pretty far away. Absolutely. I have $25 from Paradox System saying, yes, Char. Oops, I meant yes, Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, there's our death warp again. Again, conveniently, once we've picked up all the items, the game will warp us to the entrance of the dark forest and just immediately ask us to leave. I don't even have to click a button to leave. I'm not holding anything. We just left. Um, but unfortunately, we do need to tell Hopper about Hop Hop and what happened. I'm not looking forward to delivering this news, but hopefully Hopper takes it well. So we'll just go ahead and say I'm sorry. <gasps> you're back. But yeah. where's Hop Hop? Well... No, no, you're mistaken. Hop Hop can't die. You don't know him like I do. He can't die. He he didn't die. He'll be back. He always comes back. Just you wait. You'll see. Oh, that's not as good of a coping mechanism as I was hoping for, but that's okay. We're going to solve all of our problems by going to bed again. Uh, we did do slightly more things today, so this is a pretty hectic day for us. We're going to go to sleep, and hopefully we can make some comfort food, right? Comfort food will be great. Comfort food works well. I'm perfect. Two people want food. This is the most intense cooking section of the game. We have to chop six things. Look at this chopping speed. One, two. This is actually not a great chopping speed. Don't watch this part. It's fine. Uh, th four things over here. Go over to our stove, make a recipe, swirl that around, and we have to go back and chop extra things. This is the most intense this game gets in terms of inputs per second. So this is peak Hamster Chef gameplay right here. <laughs> All right, we need to go deliver two things. Hopefully this comfort food will help cheer everyone up. So the first one is going to be carrot shroom stew. This is a new delicacy. I know that we have never gotten Benjamin to actually like one of our food items. <laughs> so hopefully this will be the turnaround. This will be the meal that gets us the five-star review from Benjamin. I I'm feeling it. I think this is it. I, I really hope so, because otherwise we may be a struggling business. Okay, carrot mushroom stew. Itchy. Tasty. Are you okay? <laughs> all right, we're leaving. That's weird. I'm not coming back to Bunchman's house again. We're done. Um, all right, let's try Hopper. Hopper's always been a little bit more positive on things, so let's go over there. While we're, while we're scootering, quick donation, JPEG. Yeah, absolutely. I have $5 from Sporadic Erratic that says, I'm learning so much about how to start a business and how to grocery shop efficiently. Thanks, Char Bunny and company. <laughs> Thank you so much. Official disclaimer, this is not good advice on how to start a business. Okay, we delivered our next item. What do you think, Hopper? Oh, this? I ordered this from you? Okay, I believe you. I, I, I will eat this. It was on the phone, right? You all saw that those were the things on the phone? I didn't mess that up? That's weird. So once again, let's just go to bed and this will solve all of our problems. We're just gonna try again tomorrow. Oh, okay, bedtime. Now, new orders for today. Uh, no new orders for today, that's weird. Uh, we're just gonna go for a walk, this is fine. Okay, going for a walk, just strolling through the village. Hello? Yeah. It's me, Benjamin. Thank you for the food, I liked the food. I want food now. Come to my house! Okay. I need to make, no need to make food. It's my treat. See you soon. Oh, this is weird. Should we go to the house? Well, we're at the house. And it, oh no, okay. This is a problem, we're leaving. Uh, so it turns out feeding people mushrooms off of a dead body may be a bad idea. Just in case you're wondering, the entire village may now be zombies. So that's okay though, that was, that was fine, we're fine. No, there's a bear, the bear is here too. Oh, okay, we're just gonna keep driving, keep driving, Char Bunny. You got this, you got this. Come on, hamster, we got this. Hamster! No, not Hopper! Okay, but it's fine. That was everyone we've seen. We're absolutely perfectly safe now. Ah! Hop, hop, no! All right, time's coming up. And we're gonna phase to black here, and time! <laughs> All right, jump scare at the 
again, just heads up, this is going to jump scare you uh, for the record. Um, but thank you so much. That was Go Go Hamster Chef. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so quick shout outs. We'll show the credits while we do this. Shout out to my family for always supporting me. I love you. Shout out to the Fatals crew. Let's go, Fatals. Um, especially Dijon Ketchup, who helped with this run the first time, couldn't be here. Shout out to my couch, the lovely voice acting. Can we get a round of applause for the voice acting here? <laughs> Um, also, LLK for letting me use the markers to make the bunny ears. Thank you so much. The tech team for being awesome. The host team for always being awesome. Jared Frost specifically from the tech team for giving me a map of the area with the onions in it. Because that area is really awful. And all of you watching, thank you so much for being up early to watch this run. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you so much. Hey, Char, do you have one more quick second? Because I have $250 yes. from Char Parents that says, way to go, Char Bunny. We love you. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. I love you too. <laughs> thank you for being up early and thank you for always supporting me. I love you so much. <laughs> All right, back over to you, JPEG. Thank you again, everyone. <laughs>